Welcome to the first part of my daily quick sketch series where I explain to you how I make my daily quick sketch. This is the first one, just a skyscraper. I decided to try out how I would use the boolean modifier in Blender to create a modular skyscraper. Meaning I um, just cut in using the boolean modifier by just going in and adding a second cube and using that one detailing it to cut into the first one and add more detail like windows and other surfaces. As you can see right there, I cut in first to add some windows and a nice balcony. I add the balcony right now. And then I also cut in just to change the structure of the overall level. And then next up, I just scale down my cylinder. So I have a rain gutter on the side. I then selected it, put in some cuts to attach it to the wall actually just I think I put four cuts in right there and then selecting two out of these edge rings two faces I just put them into the wall so they're attached then I wanted to show you how I attach the horizontal rain gutter to the vertical I cut in a hole into the vertical and then for the horizontal I just used a cylinder that I cut in half deleted the upper half and then as you can see, I just add a little bit more geometry to add a transition between the vertical and the horizontal rain gutter. It's just a thing of trying out what works best, trying to fit all the faces into the geometry, not trying to create n-gons, meaning faces that have more than four edges. And after some time of figuring it out, I think it looks quite acceptable. This is just a quick sketch, so I'm not trying to make like the most high quality model or something. So next up, after adjusting the model a little bit more, I adjusted the top half of the rain gutter as well, just to make it round. I thought it looked better. And that's the whole level done. Of course, this is modular, so we're just gonna duplicate this using the array modifier, as you can see right there. And now we have a whole skyscraper. But I thought it looked kind of weird if we have the first level at the bottom on the ground. So I added a base level as well, like the entrance basically. I just did some free freestyle modeling. I don't really know what I, I haven't really looked up some reference for some like a base level of a skyscraper. So I just did what I thought looked best. Also just cutting in there and adding details. As you can see, this is the finished version. And then of course it looks it's it's kind of high so after adding the gutter which uh isn't that hard just using the shift tool i think it's called it's the at the bottom left you can see it's the second to last tool in the tool list and then you can see i added the stairs modeling one side and then mirroring it pushing it to the side using the edit mode of course the edit mode and then just adjusting the height and then using the array modifier again after adjusting it you see I made one stair and then just using the array modifier I added all the other stairs you can adjust how the array modifier arrays basically the object you put the modifier on uh, using the x y and z values you have multiple options I use the x y and z option and just adjusting this like steepness basically and then adjusting the bottom of the base cube or base level as well we have our finished model then i switched back to the render mode of course i wanted to render it for instagram and all that so I made a small world, added an HDRI, played around with it, which one should like would work best. Once I found my favorite one, I just made the background black, like shiny black, so you have this nice reflection on the ground, made it really, really shiny. And then I also added a, an empty to focus the camera on using a constraint. After some post-production using a denoise filter, you can see the final image. I'm going to post these every day, so if you find these helpful, you can give me a like. If you have any questions, of course, you can put them in the comments. If you didn't like them, if you have any, any criticism, you can put them in the comments as well. And if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. 
I'll see you next time and see you then. Bye bye.